There's a lot of benefits to hosting your course directly on Squarespace, and I've talked about this a lot. However, one major drawback is that video hosting is limited. Luckily, if you've decided to host your course on Squarespace, you can use a different platform to host your videos and embed them into Squarespace. There's a ton of video hosting platforms that you can use to embed in your Squarespace site, like YouTube, Vimeo, Wistia, and more, like tons more. But in this video, we're gonna be focusing on YouTube because it's really accessible and it's free. Most of those alternatives I just mentioned will cost you money. I'm gonna link some more resources below for information about how to actually host your course within Squarespace and information about that, different ways to do it. But for now, let's just talk about embedding videos. Okay, so if you wanna use YouTube to embed free videos into your Squarespace site that are private, so for a course or a private membership or something like that, first you'll need to create an account with YouTube. So this is really easy. Obviously you could just go to youtube.com Maybe you already have an account. It's probably pretty likely you do. Or maybe you want to create a business account with a different email so you can keep things a little bit better organized. But I'm not going to show you how to create an account because that's pretty straightforward. Just go to youtube.com, get signed up, enter in all of your details, do all the things they ask you to do, and then you'll be in YouTube. And you'll want to come into your creator studio. So before you come into your creator studio, you might see just a simple YouTube page like this and you can click on your videos here on the left and this will take you into your channel content, into your creator studio. So you can see it says studio here in the top left and you have all of this information here to manage your YouTube account and your videos. Then simply you're going to upload your videos that you want to add to Squarespace to YouTube. So click create to add a new video, upload videos and you can just select the files from here. Now, once you've uploaded your video, you're gonna be taken to an area that looks a little bit like this. So feel free to add all of the details you want. Just remember that this video isn't going to be live on YouTube, so it's not like you need to optimize it to be found in search, or you don't really need to add a description or anything like that, because these are just your private videos, right? They're not gonna be shown to the general public. The general public can't just find them, so you don't need to really optimize them for YouTube. I would recommend adding a title just because then it's easy for you to see and your audience will actually be able to see the title of your videos. You can add a thumbnail if you want. The thumbnail will be shown on Squarespace, though you can also add an additional thumbnail on Squarespace if you wanted to, which I'll show you soon. The rest of this stuff you can pretty much just ignore. The one thing it'll probably make you answer if it's for kids or not. Again, it doesn't really matter because you're not going to be advertising this video or showing this to the public again, but YouTube will make you answer that question. Next up is video elements across the top. I would probably recommend just not adding any of this stuff because this is going to direct people to YouTube. And if you're embedding these videos into your Squarespace site as private videos, you really just want people to stay on your site within the course or within their membership area and you don't really want them to click away to other videos or other links within your video. So that's what this area is for. And then under visibility, this is the most important part, okay? So once our video is uploaded and it's probably being uploaded right now, mine has actually completed the upload, we want to set our video as unlisted. So there's three options here. You've got private, and private means that only you and people specifically that you choose can watch your video. So you could use private, but you'd have to specifically assign people to watch the video and you wouldn't be able to embed it into Squarespace. So that's a bit of a more complicated way to do it, although it is more private at that point. Now, unlisted is what I recommend using and it's anyone with the video link can watch your video. So it's not gonna be shown to the public and it's not gonna be shown to people that don't specifically have the link for the video. So really only people you share that link with will see it. And this way you can also embed it into Squarespace. And then of course public is it's on YouTube for the public to see, everyone can see it. So I recommend unlisted and then clicking save. So that is it for what we need to do within YouTube. It's really fast and simple. And once your video has been uploaded, it'll give you a link. So you can either copy it from here or you can copy it by clicking these three dots and clicking get shareable link. Either way, we need that link to embed it into Squarespace. So now I'm gonna go back into my Squarespace demo site and I've just created this simple page that just says welcome to the course. And obviously you can set this part up however you want. 
You could create a blog page that has different blog pages for different lessons, or you could just create one really long page with all your different videos, or maybe you just have one video and you just need a simple page like this. The beauty of Squarespace is that you can edit this however you want to. It's completely customizable. And anywhere you can add a block on your Squarespace site, you can embed your video. So I'm on Squarespace 7.1 Fluid Engine right now, but this basic concept works the same for 7.1 Classic Editor and 7.0. You just need to add a block. So in Fluid Engine, I click Add Block in the top left. But if you're using 7.0 or Classic Editor, you'll have just like a line that shows up when you hover over that has a blue plus icon and you'll just want to click that to add your block. And then you'll get shown the exact same menu as me here. And we're going to click the embed block. So position the block where you want it and then click to open the block settings. It's going to say here embed as and we're going to just leave a link selected and paste in that YouTube link. It should say successfully located. And now you can see our video is uploaded to our Squarespace site. You can add a featured image to the front if you want to, so you can upload it there or you can just leave it as is. And that's as simple as it gets. Now, the one drawback of using YouTube for your embedded videos is that it has the YouTube branding around it. So you can see here it says watch on youtube.com. It's got your YouTube handle, it's got the YouTube title, and if we click on any of that stuff, it's going to open us up in YouTube. Now this video is still unlisted, it's only going to be for those people that can see this, and I really just think that YouTube is just trying to get people directly onto their platform so they continue to watch videos. It's a little bit sneaky, but in reality you're getting free video hosting, which can actually be a really big expense. So it's a bit of a trade-off because while you're getting free video hosting, they're sneakily getting their branding in there. The other issue that you'll find is that at the end of your video, so let me just fast forward right to the end of the video, or if you pause your video, you're gonna get these recommended videos from YouTube. Again, it's just them trying to get people to watch more YouTube. I'll just show you what it looks like at the end. So it's the same videos, they're just recommended a little bit larger. Now, there are ways to get rid of these related videos, but they do require pretty advanced custom code. You used to be able to just add a little bit of text to the end of your video URL within the video block or embed block, which worked, but it doesn't seem to work anymore. And you can get the full embed code, customize that, and remove your related videos but it takes a lot of coding customization to get that right because it throws out all of the sizing. It is actually pretty complicated, so I'm not gonna go into that today. If you really need to get rid of these related videos, then it is possible. But honestly, if someone's buying a course from you or a membership from you, it's not like you're trying to keep them on the video. It's really up to them if they wanna watch the video or not. So I really don't think the related posts matter too much. It's just a trade-off for getting free video hosting at the end of the day. So that's how you embed free private videos from YouTube into your Squarespace site for your course or your membership videos. This is a great option if you're just starting out and trying to save a bit of money. I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.